Hello friends, welcome back to our channel. So in today's session, we'll discuss about one a general concept that is a non-technical that is how to answer to a question, tell me about yourself or introduce yourself. Tell me about yourself or introduce yourself. So how to answer this question? So this is a very very important question which we have to know and it requires a lot of practice because so this is the first question we may expect in any kind of interview. So irrelevant to the job, this is a common question we can expect from the interviewer. That is, tell me about yourself or introduce yourself. So even though the resume is available at the interviewer's hand, but still they'll ask this question to analyze A soft skills your soft skills right and uh, your slang your accent and uh, flow of presentation for all these kind of things they'll ask this question and we know the famous saying in English that uh, first impression is a best impression and this is the first question you may get from the interviewer so if you are able to impress the interviewer by answering this question definitely that will help you to get success in the interview right so even though the technical or a non-technical interview that means a technical or a HR interview this will be the common question and one more thing remember the complete resume will be available at the interviewer. So you should elevate yourself, which is available in your resume, right? So that resume will be the reference copy and whatever the presentation you are giving about yourself. So that should match with your content in the resume. So don't give any other information, which is not available in your resume and also just elevate yourself okay elevate yourself to impress the interviewer so that's why i said that you need a lot of practice while answering this tell me about yourself or introduce yourself so we'll see what is the content we need to prepare in order to answer this question right see the first the first one is greet The recruiters so first we need to greet the recruiters right say good morning good evening good afternoon right so like that we have to greet the recruiters second start the introduction with your name Start the introduction with your name. Then place from where you are. Next, highest qualification. Highest qualification you have done. The next one, projects or internships we have done. Achievements, achievements like awards or prizes. Strength. Strength. 
hobbies goals short term goal and long term goal right so just write down everything on a piece of paper so with all these things and just keep on practicing before attending to the interview so we'll come one by one first greet recruiters so immediately if you are uh, i mean once you are entering into the room first greet the recruiters so don't say continuously that means don't greet continuously that means uh, sir my name is so and so sir i am from so and so sir i am i have completed my qualification sir so don't repeat multiple times so just say sir or a madam only two times that is the beginning of the answer and the ending of the answer right and greet your, greet the recruiters so greet the uh, the recruiters either it may be a one recruiter or a multiple recruiters right so say good morning or good evening or good afternoon and also say if possible you can also say that first uh, thank you for giving me this opportunity to introduce myself so you can start like this right sir or a madam so thanks for giving me this opportunity to introduce myself okay then start introduce start the introduction with your name okay so start with your name so like my name is sandeep saradi right so or i am sandeep saradi so you can start with my name is sandeep saradi or i am sandeep saradi right and next a place frame where you are so where you are coming from so i am coming from machli patnam i am coming from bapatla right my name my native place is machli patnam now i am working in bapatla so like this you can say your place okay you can say your place and then the highest qualification so you might be having a lot of uh, uh, academic career right so after the completion of the plus 2 that means intermediate you may complete your under graduation and the post graduation right so that's why you just go with the highest qualification so i have completed my master degree or i have completed my post graduation from so and so college of so and so institution or so and so university with a so and so percentage so if your percentage is more so you can also reveal that percentage right and then the projects and the internships so if you are a fresher obviously in your final year you will be facing the interview so that's the uh, uh, in that situation you are able to do the project you are in the project work right so you have to decide the project so you have you can elevate that project okay so i am i am pursuing my uh, btech final year final semester and now i am supposed to do the project on so and so area so and so problem right and also in the third year if you are if you are studying some uh, engineering in the third year itself you might be completing the internships right so if you are studying some degree if you have done any internships so you can also elevate those internships right so spend more time in this particular point projects and internships right so that gives your technical skills okay how strong you are technical right and also then achievements so if you are having any achievements so that means awards or prizes so this comes under two categories one is so co curricular and extra curricular extra curricular so co curricular means whatever the so this uh, projects work, project work or project exhibition technical quiz so poster presentation paper presentations so all the technical terms related to that I mean the contest or uh, any activities related to the technical will comes under this co curricular activities so if you are having any uh, achievements in that co curricular activities even though the participation you can just uh, elevate yourself because that shows your interest towards the latest technology so if you have if you have presented a paper on iot if you have presented a paper on some cloud computing or a big data or artificial intelligence so you can elevate yourself that means that shows your interest towards the latest technology right so 
all these things should be elevated so this is also the second thing you need to concentrate more on these achievements and awards so even though you are having the participation you can say that one and coming to the extra curricular so sports singing dancing so all these comes under this extra curricular right so how much you are fit so that will be getting with these extra curricular activities so if you are having any achievements you can elevate them otherwise you can leave it okay but everything so whatever the content you are delivering that should be in your resume so you must be very careful while writing a resume so already we have uh, discussed this writing of a resume in our previous sessions i will post the link in the description so just go through so write on the resume and based upon your resume your answer should be relevant and coming to the strength strength so just remember this strength what you are saying that should be relevant to your job profile so say uh, yes so i am workaholic okay or i i love to work in a team i am a self learner i am a fast learner okay i am a positive attitude i am having a lot of positive attitude so all these comes under the relevant to your job profile so in in the job you must be working in a team so that should be of one of your strength and fast learner so you you are supposed to learn a more number of things in your job profile so fast learner is one of your strength so just elevate these strengths related to your job profile and then hobbies this is most important because be honest and uh, very perfect while giving your hobbies so don't say that uh, if you are not having the hobby of reading of books so don't say it uh, here right so reading just reading of books okay or listening to music not like that just like, be honest because you might be having a questions related to your hobbies also so if you say that i my hobby is a uh, reading a uh, books so definitely the next question you may expect is related to the books so book names and the book authors so there you will be having a trouble so if you say that um, my hobby is listening to music so you may get a questions related to the music so while saying the hobbies just be honest okay and then the last but uh, not the least that was the goals what is your short term goal so complete immediately completion of final year what is your goal and long term goal so after 5 years or after 6 years what is your goal so that should be perfect okay so you have to say the goals short term goal and the long term goal so within a short period what you want to become is a short term goal after some long period what you want to become is a long term goal right so don't say the weakness until the recruiter asks you okay don't elevate your weakness so after completion of this one again once again say that so thank you that's all uh, the information about myself so thanks for giving me this opportunity to introduce myself thank you sir or thank you madam so with that the, your introduction will be completed and one thing you just remember the next question from the recruiter will be from the answer given by you so for example if you say so i have done my project or i am doing the project on some uh, cloud computing then immediately there might be a chance that's not a mandatory there might be a chance yes what is a cloud computing so from your answer you can get the next questions so we should be very careful while giving the answers and don't be very fast so just relax and simply in a simple mode give your answer okay wait for 3 uh, or 5 seconds and then you can start your answer don't uh, say the answer in a rush okay it must be very clear and one thing you remember so the complete uh, 
content that means about yourself will be available with the recruiter in the form of resume or curriculum vitae so be very careful while delivering the, about yourself information about yourself right so that's why i said that this is a very 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 important thing so by answering this one they will know your soft skills your slang your uh, spontaneity and everything your presentation more most important thing is how good you are presenting yourself uh, in the front of recruiter right so my suggestion take a piece of paper and write down uh, the answer for this question tell me about yourself and just keep on practicing twice or thrice okay so before attending the interview so once again i'm saying the first impression will be the best impression so that's all your uh, about uh, this session so hope you enjoyed this session and if you really enjoyed the session like my session share my session with your friends and don't forget to subscribe to our channel thanks for watching thank you very much